so we're out here and we're in nature and we are at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum and we're going to be walking around because I'm cheap you can go inside it costs money for a tour I was actually going to be a tour guide one time but I'm too sensitive and I walked in and I was like like maybe <laughs> An hour in and I ran out screaming. It was like a big deal. But here it is. It's supposed to be insanely haunted. Zach Bagans from Ghost Adventures uh, spent the night here. One night is built in the 1800s. It's been closed since the 90s. It's a beautiful building. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna be walking around the perimeter. There's iron, iron fencing, and what iron does, it's a grounding material, it's from the earth. Ghosts are electricity, spirits are electricity, and if, you want, if you're an electrician and you want to ground a wire, you use iron in order to ground it, in order to get the electricity. Um, to, to disperse so when working with spirits or ghosts to entrap them you would need iron to control them you need iron so that's why the irons here and why I feel safe walking around the perimeter because ghosts won't touch that iron they'll they'll die <laughs> like they won't be able to to be alive But yeah, we're just, we're exploring such a beautiful building. When I went inside, I felt like I had been there before. There's this odd sense of familiarity, although I've never been there before. I've only been inside once, it's when I was um, applying to be a tour guide. This is what the rest of the place looks like. My videos haven't had much substance lately and I have things that I want to talk about. It's just like I have this block. I don't understand where it's coming from. I have like insane amounts of knowledge. I wanted to do a series about narcissistic abuse because I have a lot of knowledge on the subject. I spent months, years, years doing nothing but studying narcissism like the pathology of narcissists. I've read so many books. I just don't feel inspired to do it. And every time I try, I, I feel like I sound stupid. Even though I know what I'm talking about, it's just not coming out. It's like there's a block that I'm just not supposed to be talking about that. And I think it has to do with my healing. Like I am still healing. My last narcissist died. So, I mean, that's a big deal. Look at how pretty all these leaves are. <laughs> They're just with all these leaves. So I have all of that knowledge that I can talk about that would benefit people. Because I know whenever I was going through it, I watched every single YouTube video I could find. And there, there's a lot. And I read every book that I could read. And there's a lot. <laughs> there's just a lot out there. And I don't really feel like that's my calling. I feel more drawn to tarot and for some reason I've been wanting to walk like walking is where I've been drawn to like that's what I've been drawn to do and I don't really understand why I've been studying magic um, Enochian magic Hermeticism the Golden Dawn Alistair Crowley ceremonial magic I started studying Wicca when I was 16. I actually had some friends who did it with me. We, were, we went to a Catholic high school and I was in between, like I was always really into this kind of stuff. Like I was in between becoming a nun and becoming a Wiccan. <laughs> so which are, are like completely polar opposites. 
I didn't really understand where where I was going, but I mean, I still practice some Wicca. I'm not like hardcore and I don't have a coven. I did, I used to. I used to have a coven. But I don't anymore. And I'm solo. But I've, yeah, I've been like really into hermeticism, like hugely into hermeticism and Enochian magic I've been studying a lot on. I haven't like summoned anything or spoken to anything, but I have the knowledge and tools that I could. I really could if I wanted to. <laughs> Actually, um, the Lesser Keys of Solomon. It's a grimoire magic. I was, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna do it now. I, uh, I did dress up like a Ouija board. I went to a Halloween party. And I read tarot cards. It was a lot of fun. The lady was really, really nice. But they have haunted asylum tours, flashlight tours, ghost hunts. Such a beautiful building. No, we're going this way, boys. We're, we're going around the perimeter. Oh, shoot. Be smart. Come on, be smart. Be smart. There we go. The state, Western State Hospital, the only state institution in West Virginia, was authorized by an act of General Assembly of Virginia, March 22nd, which would be Aries, uh, 1858. The war between the states delayed the construction. It was not open for patients until October 22nd of 1864. Overcrowded, and it held very violent patients that probably should have been in a prison instead. <laughs> Zach Bagan saw a, a demon, but he always sees demons. But yeah, I feel safe with all of this iron. I actually have iron ring too. thick iron. All wrought iron. I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do my Ouija board makeup again, but I just kind of wanted it to go. I felt inspired. It's beautiful on the inside. It's all the like deteriorated. is actually beautiful. I can see beauty in it. The raw iron ends here, but I think that we're going to still go around. I want to make a full circle.
I've been working on becoming a medium. So I've opened that up, that doorway up. I, I'm not good enough yet, like, to actually control it. <laughs> I've been working on learning how to control it. But that's why I'm like, <laughs> let's stay by the iron. Because I know that spirits can't go past iron, they can't touch iron. That's why they put iron in prisons. They, they do it, they even put it in the walls of prisons to keep the evil that's in there, in there, trapped, encapsulated. We might not be able to get through. Yeah, we will. that door and that window I wonder if that's a person like a it was there and then it was gone did you see that if you see anything write that in the comments below please now why are you guys going to get all tied up? This is bullshit. This is bad, like... You guys just got real, they got really tied up. Here, I'm going to... Just put this here while I get them untied. Bullshit. Sorry. I need to, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to do a part two.